1,000 customers, nearly 95 percent of the Guam Power Authority's customer base is residential. The rest of the customers are the government class, the Navy, and the commercial class. Consolidated Commission on Utilities Chairperson Simon Sanchez. Even though the costs are cheaper to serve the government and the business community, the rates that have been charged the government and the business community have been higher than it really costs to service them. And they've been made higher so that we could keep the residential customer rates lower. Sanchez says GPA and the PUC have been discussing how to correct the subsidy and inequity that's been occurring. It's been difficult, though, as GPA continues to raise its rates. Even now, the utility is seeking a 7.5% base rate increase over the next five years. The PUC is now left to decide how to transition to true cost of service to get rid of the subsidy that the business and government communities have shouldered for more than two decades. GPA is proposing to transition over a seven, eight year period to really, you know, because we know it's going to impact the residential community the most. Uh, but so let's, let's take our time in doing it. The PUC will, will wait to see what they, they decide. Sanchez says the Public Utilities Commission will have the final say and can accept, adjust, or reduce the proposal from GPA. It's not imminent that you're going to see a major impact on your power bill, uh, up or down. Uh, what's more imminent is the rate case that is currently under review. But over the next, depending on what the PUC decides, over, over the next decade, during this next few years, there's going to be a consideration about moving to pure cost of service, cost-based rates. Sanchez says there have been arguments supporting the subsidy, saying the business community brings in one million visitors a year and they can afford to pay the additional cost. Ultimately, though, he says it's a policy call. Should we begin to correct the inequity between the government class, the commercial class, and the residential class? And if we do, what you'll see is Government and business bills go down, but residential bills go up. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Indy Egan.